You're watching Carlisle Fitness. How realistic is the robot in Pacific Rim? They refer to it as Jaegers. And let's go over some of the basics. And by the way, for those of you that are going to get all, you know, oh, it's just a movie. Yeah, you know, I watch sci-fi. I'm very much into sci-fi. So I'm very accustomed to watching things that are kind of out there. There are limitations in terms of what we can, you know, kind of shut off our, shut off our brains and accept when we go into the theater. So anyway, let's break it down. So what are we talking about here? These Jaegers, how big and how heavy are they exactly? Well, by the estimation of some engineers and much smarter than myself, the height of a Jaeger would be approximately 288 feet. How tall is that? How tall is 288 feet? Well, let's just say that I was a Jaeger. So I am one of the robots. And some of you don't find that to be surprising that I am a robot. But anyway, let's say I was a robot, for real. Well, the Statue of Liberty would be slightly taller than me. So pretty much imagine you're talking about a robot that's as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Now that's tall. So that's the first parameter there. What would be the total weight of this robot based on its height, based on the required strength of the metals or whatever materials are used to construct it? These metals or materials have to be strong enough to support this large robot and then also all the movements that it does, right? So definitely, uh, you're gonna have a lot of weight there. So the estimation is to support something that large that's able to run and punch and do all that kind of stuff, we're talking about 7,000, not pounds, tons. So a Jaeger is approximately 7,000 tons. That is a massive amount of weight to be carrying around. Now, just to have this 7,000 ton uh, structure, let's just call it a structure. So let's say it didn't even move. That alone is a massive undertaking and you gotta look at things like winds blowing it down. Look at skyscrapers, right? That's a problem that you have to deal with for skyscrapers. You have a simple 40 uh, story building that in strong winds can sway and potentially cause damage to the building. So they have to design into the engineering the ability of these buildings to kind of sway. You know, if you've ever been in a windy day in a really tall building, you, you know it's kind of a seasick type of experience. Um, you know, I've worked in New York City, so I've, I've actually experienced it myself, and it's, it's a little uneasy where the building's actually swaying, but it's better to sway and flex than to snap and crumble. But my point is, there is a lot of challenges involved in having such a large structure, 280 feet structure like a Jaeger. So that's number one. And we're just talking about just standing there, not even moving around. Let's talk about power requirements. You got a lot of power required to move this thing around. And we're not even going to the craziness of the running and jumping, all that stuff, because that's too crazy. Let's talk about simply raising the arm of this robot. So the estimation on the weight of the arm using scientific principles would be about 708 tons. So 708 ton arm, just one arm, 708 tons. So that's over 1400 tons for both arms, but regardless. So what kind of power would it take to lift a single Jaeger arm? Well, Let's look at some of the uh, large and powerful engines that we've actually have already invented. So, the Bugatti Veyron. 